We have a really exciting interview coming up. I mean, have you ever heard of a, you ever heard of a woman named J.K. Rowling? Yes. <laughs> well, here today we don't have her. We have Fern Winters, author of Pickles, When Will My Husband Return from the War? Oh my gosh, I love her! Uh, personally, I did not enjoy the book because pickles belong in the kitchen, not the battlefield. All right, but let, uh, let's welcome on Fern to discuss her upcoming book, Birds Complaining About Retail. <laughs> Fern. Hi! Hello, hello, my darling. My beautiful wife and husband. I'm seriously in love with you. Right, right, right. Um, so Fern, uh, let's let's talk about your new book. So you've written the first half. Blindfolded, tied to the back of a horse, a white stallion named Jerome. You fantastic woman. Anyways, it's set to release next month, and you haven't revealed about you know what's it about yet. But is there anything that fans should be excited for? Do you have a favorite? A chapter, maybe? It's called Connect with Your Eldest Son. Spend a day bowling. Bumpers up, balls down. <laughs> it's a working title. I don't have a son, but maybe I should get one so I can do those things. Oh, well, <laughs> Jillian, you can, you can always go bowling with me. It's not the same. Right. I just finished another chapter last night, actually. It's called Connect with Your Hairdresser. Spur a little riot at his place of work and throw a chair through the window. Man, that sounds great, but not so legal. Wait, what is your book about again? I think readers will really enjoy the fifth chapter. Connect with your great uncle twice removed. Go inside the local auto body shop. Hug your sweaty uncle. Get the sweat all over your face. <laughs> So correct me if I'm wrong, but your book seems to be tackling relationships? It's the title of the book. It's, no it's not. It's, it's title <laughs> is Birds Complaining About Retail? I mean, have you ever been in like a relationship? Like your chapters seem very uh, specific. I've been alone 72 years. <laughs> you're, you're, you're Clearly not 72 for <laughs> Look, if your book's about relationship advice, don't you think you'd benefit from, I don't know, having one? Mm. I'd never, ever thought of that. <laughs> You're going at your glasses right now. Why? Stop, stop. Friction, darling, friction. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, you're right. Oh. I have yet to write about children taking caterpillars home for the first time. <laughs> Guess who's home for dinner? The caterpillar. That's, that's not what we're getting at. Okay, this is you know, sometimes I would dress up as a cicada. I mean, would that work? Step Shh. one. Make the caterpillar feel comfortable. <laughs> Tell it to take its shoes off. Did you write that down? I'm writing it down. Step two, get it to drink some seltzer, but not in a date rape way. Oh God. I always love a good seltzer in the afternoon. Dan, did you write that down? Sorry, sorry. Okay, step three, mm -hmm. offer to draw a bubble bath, but only his side of the bath with bubbles. I'm allergic, so. Dan, I swear, you haven't written any of this I, down. I am writing this down. Look, do, I mean, did you write yourself into your instruction book? I just don't really understand. What do you think? A relationship is and, and what, what do you think people do in them I still want to go back to the pickle as well that was the first thing that's brought up here stop licking your glasses I think I'm going to leave why because a relationship is like a pickle Jillian when you take a bite and it's still raw it's absolutely disgusting <laughs> 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 <laughs>